A few prominent business people and politicians being untruthful about their qualifications. Well, this may be a thing of the past now, as Parliament has approved the new National Qualifications Framework Amendment Bill. And soon, it'll be law in South Africa, and breaking the law could see people being imprisoned for lying about their qualifications. To tell us more, I'm now joined by Bokang Mabileta, who's uh, the head of marketing at Elite CV. Thanks so much for joining us. Welcome to the programme. Ah, thank you very much, Peter. Nice to be here. All right. So um, clearly the state has had enough of people uh, lying about uh, their qualifications. They yeah. themselves have been a victim of that. What can happen if you break this law, if you lie about your qualifications? Well, I think first we've got to understand that the job uh, market is very tough. Mm. So people therefore tend to lie, you know, on their CV just to make themselves look a little <laughs> bit better, a little bit, uh, you know, uh, choosable yeah. as their right candidate right. For, their, for their employer. So what this now means is those people who then go on to say they have qualified for something that they have not, the employer can then go to court and actually lay charges against this person and say, you know what, you've wasted my time, you've wasted my money, and therefore, you know, I'm laying charges you against you because you lied. Yes. So this could mean a jail term, right? That How many years term. are they saying that you could go to jail for this? Oh, they're saying up to five years. Wow. Five years. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> what's the difference between lying and exaggerating your mm. qualifications? You see, when a person, um, especially in qualifications, yeah. let's say you're a doctor. Yeah. I mean, you cannot lie about having, you know, a doctor. Yes. You know, being having you're a either doctor a doctor or being, you're not. <laughs> yes, when you're not. You see, and, and that is a blatant lie. Mm -hmm. And I would imagine that will get the five years yeah. because a lot of people would actually lay charges. And then there's somewhere where a person would then exaggerate a little bit and say they have a BCom yeah. uh, when they haven't yet completed it. Okay. All right, so they, they are a few credits less, yeah. and, or rather short, and they're about to get it, but then they state that right. they have. Now, that's exaggeration, but that is still lying. Right. See, now, when you just basically exaggerate where it's little, is when, let's say, about a skill, and yeah. say, you know, I know how to, how can I say it, how to... How Program... To uh, how to program yeah, something, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. And then later it's found out that you don't know how to program that right. thing. No, that, that, that's understandable. I mean, that yes. is not a blatant lie. You yes. over-exaggerate it. Uh, how well you can yes, do it. Yes, how well you can do it. Yeah. But if your qualifications are in line, then you're, then you're still safe. Right. Yes. All right, so you, you're a man that helps people put together CVs. And so what do you need to put in there um, uh, so that you are choosable without lying? Is there a way that you can put it together that you become a compelling candidate? Yeah. You know, uh, and I think first and foremost, when you say you're a man who puts together CVs, <laughs> then people go like, okay, <laughs> really, he puts together CVs. Yeah. Who needs, yeah. you know, his CV, yeah. the CV to be put yeah. together. Um, we put together CVs at Elite yeah. CV basically for people who want to highlight their skills a little bit better. Right. You know, uh, y y we have professional writers. Mm. So sometimes you need a professional to articulate you right. much better than yourself. Because right. you're not, you don't come, you know, you don't even, you're not even qualified yeah. to a point to be called a writer. So it's, it's yeah. exactly that. So we come in where we write. And particularly what we do uh, that can, you know, uh, even the viewers at home, that they can do themselves on their CV. Instead of focusing on... Yeah. On, on, on the qualifications a lot. Yeah. Focus on the accomplishments. Right. You see, because it's much better what when you, you focus. Do, what you can do. Proof of concept. Do. Yes. Because right. if you have literally fixed uh, practical things, you know, if you've done practical things in the workplace, um, you can come out and say, I've done 10 projects yeah. in X. Instead of saying, I have this degree, I tell you, if you are very practical and uh, people would gladly would like to work with All you right. because you know, you're proven. I, I wish we had so much more time. I think I'm going to have to bring you into the studio again uh, to take us through this because the CV part is quite critical. But thanks so much indeed for sharing your thoughts with us. No and problem, uh, no. we'll get you back on the program uh, again in the near future. All right, we're Thank going to you. take a quick...